So as I had mentioned in my episode 10 series finale of a teacher that I want to come back and make a video going over the differences, the similarities of the film that came out a teacher in 2013 versus the series that we got. And that's exactly what this video is all about. We're breaking it down, the characters, the story beats, as well as giving you all my overall thoughts on the film. We're going to discuss that and much more. Hey, what's going on everybody and welcome back to my channel Movie Files. Elliot here today to give you all a breakdown video going over the similarities and the differences in the story and the characters between the 2013 film A Teacher and the series that we just got on FX on Hulu. Now, I just saw the movie for the very first time the other night. I want to watch the series first, finish that off. So in this video, I'm going to also give you all a mini review of the film. But more importantly, at the end of this video, I'm going to let you all know which one that I think told the story better. The film versus the series we're going to break it all down but before we dive into it as you can see on the screen now make sure you're following me on all my other social media accounts like facebook instagram and twitter which you can find all those links in the description below if you are new to the channel welcome to the community consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell that way you can get the alert for when i drop new videos it would mean a lot to me if you all can like and share this video it really helps out the channel but i appreciate all the support and in the comments if you've seen the film a teacher if you've seen the series a teacher let's discuss your similarities your differences which story did you prefer which characters you think were more likable let me know your thoughts in the comments now i think it's safe to say if you haven't seen the film or the series this is a spoiler discussion so go check out the movie go check out the series watch my reviews for the series come back and join the conversation so again spoiler discussion you've been warned so one of the first topics i want to tackle was the character differences starting off with in the film we have diana and eric and in the series we have claire and eric now i don't know why they changed the name of our lead female but it is a name difference so starting off with diana versus claire one of the first things you'll notice in, the, in regards to a different differences is Diana's only lived in Texas for four years versus in the series Claire grew up in Texas she went to school in Texas she left for a bit came back and became a teacher so we have a little bit of a difference there in regard to their relationships we have Diana in a film she's single her friend tries to get her to mingle with people her own age but she doesn't do so because she's very obsessed with Eric in the movie in the series, we know that Claire is married. She's been married for 10 years. She got married to her uh, college sweetheart, Matt. So there's obviously a difference in their relationship there. But also speaking of differences, Diana, again, I just mentioned it briefly, she is obsessed with Eric. She fantasizes about Eric. She becomes a stalker on Eric. So there's definitely a difference in the dynamic and relationship. In the film, Diana definitely wants a relationship with Eric. In the series, Claire says she loves him. She definitely, there's more of the grooming signs in the series, but the dynamic is really Eric wants to be with Claire in the show versus in the film, it's reversed. So there's definitely a difference in the relationship dynamic. Going into kind of the decisions that they make, Claire, we, we all know if you've seen the series, she made some terrible decisions. Number one was obviously hooking up with her student, but I would say between the two characters, Claire to me was more of a balanced character. She set a little bit more of uh, ground rules, even though she broke the big rule, but I would just say from a character perspective, I got more from Claire. I prefer the character Claire more so than I did in the film. And also just, I thought the performance was stronger. I thought that the character, number one, was definitely more likable in Claire versus Diana. Wrapping up some other differences in regards to their family members. They both have brothers in the film and the show. In the film, her brother name is Hunter. He really doesn't have much to do in the movie. Uh, and then we know in the series, we have Nate. Now, Nate has a lot more to do compared to Hunter, uh, as well as that big scene that we get in the series but also uh in regards to their parents diana doesn't mention her father i don't know if they have a good relationship if he's alive if he's dead but her mother there's a fractured relationship we, they don't dive into it in the movie she appears to be sick she doesn't want to talk to her she avoids her mother so we they really don't explain her parent dynamic but in the series we know that claire's mother passed away when she was young we know that her father and her had a fractured relationship but they kind of amend things because he wanted to help her out once everything kind of you know broke out in the series so there's definitely a differences in their family dynamic so switching gears over to eric versus eric now one of the first things you'll notice is in the film eric lives with his father i don't even know if they mention his mother at all the series he lives with his mother and i don't even know if they mention his father in the show so they keep a lot of the family stuff kind of hidden in both 
platforms with Eric. Now, switching over to their relationships, Eric is single in the film. He's just kind of mingling around with girls his young age, but really doesn't have a relationship with girls except for obviously Diana. And then we know in the series, Eric has a kind of on again, off again relationship with Allison. Switching gears into, again, the, the relationship dynamic in the film, Eric is just really about the sex. He really doesn't want to have a relationship with his teacher, Diana, versus the show. Eric was more kind of like, I want to be with you. You know, once I go to college, I want to have a relationship. So the dynamic there, Eric in the series definitely wanted to have a relationship. Eric in the film was just wanted to have sex with his teacher. And that's a big difference there, which brings me to the characteristics. The film version of Eric definitely more cocky, definitely more arrogant. Uh, he was definitely more careless than the series version Eric, who I found to be more sympathetic, also much more of a likable character and also way more mature in my opinion. And then wrapping up their family dynamic, again, um, we have both versions of the characters have two sets of brothers. We have in the film, we have uh, Doug and Greg, they're both older than Eric. And then in the series, we have Donovan and Phil who were younger than Eric and both sets of brothers really don't have that much to do in the film or series switching gears over to the story now one of the biggest differences here is in the film it's already established they've had a relationship they don't tell us how long they've been in a relationship they don't tell us who made the first move but they're already in a relationship in the film Obviously, in the series, it was told differently. We actually saw what happened, how Eric wanted to be tutored by Claire. She takes him to UT. You know that, you know, Eric kisses her first, and then they have the, obviously, they hook up for the first time at the dance. So we actually learned how the relationship started and how the grooming things kind of took place. In the series, we don't see, or to say in the film, we get none of that backstory, which brings me into the actual sexual encounters in the film, they were careless. They were having sex in the in the street, at, in, in, in a neighborhood. Uh, it was dark, but it was still like anyone could have walked up. You know, they were having sex at Eric's house, at uh, Diana's house, where she has a roommate. So they were very just like going all over the place. There were no ground rules whatsoever versus in a series, you know, they had their spot and they were a little bit more careful. So there's definitely a difference there. And then regarding some other kind of scenes that kind of were similar in a sense, there's a moment where Diana sends Eric a topless picture of her Herself in the series we have a similar scene um, she doesn't take off her top but she takes a picture Claire takes a picture of herself in the club and sends it to Eric and there's a similar kind of storyline where they send pictures to each other but Eric you know has to delete the photos and and there's uh some storylines within the movie where a, a freshman girl has a photo leaked and that makes Diana want him to delete the evidence off his phone so there are some similarities there going into this dynamic regarding jealousy now in the film Eric is going to attend a dance he tells Diana that he's going to take a girl to a dance she's clearly upset and clearly jealous of that in the series, we have a similar thing where they have the dance. He he uh, asks Allison, and you know Eric asks Allison to go to the dance with him, and we see that Claire sees this, and there's some jealousy there. Now there's much more of a jealousy going on in the film than there is in the series, but in both formats, both characters were jealous of him having other relationships. So going into a very big thing, which takes place in the film and the series is the ranch scene. Now in the film, we have Eric is taking Diana to the ranch for the very first time because she's never been to a ranch. So obviously in the series, it's reversed. Claire takes Eric to the ranch to celebrate his 18th birthday. So very different thing there, but the pivotal thing that is important to both stories in the film, the ranch moment, they actually have a break. They essentially break up because Eric kind of forced, again, Eric is all about the sex in the movie. He kind of forces himself on, on Diana. She gets upset. She wants to have a break. Obviously, in the series, they get closer. Eric is upset because he wants to be with her, and they actually confess their love to each other. So very differences of what goes on in the film and the series, but the ranch, nonetheless, is a very pivotal moment of the story. Now, again, going to some similarities and scenes, there's a similar scene where Eric tells Diana to take off his clothes, take off his clothes, very kind of demanding, very similar to what happened in the series. We also get a similar shot where they're both uh, looking out in the land, just kind of fantasizing about them having a relationship in a so there's some similar shots in the ranch scene but again also another similar thing is the confrontation in the film they have a fight because eric forces himself on diana in the series eric upset that diana or to say claire is having a relationship with her husband he wants to be with her so they both have confrontations and again one conf confrontation in the film they break up the other one they confess their love to each other so again the ranch scene was very pivotal and then just kind of wrapping up another topic here in regards to how they get caught 
in the ranch scene in the film, there's actually a gentleman that comes to the ranch. I believe he was like a foreman. They almost get caught there, but there is a major difference to how they get caught in the film, in the series. In the film, just kind of wrapping it up here, we have Diana tells you know she she breaks it up with eric in the film she apologizes to him she tells him to come over to her house this is where she he comes to the house she immediately goes to having sex with him she has this really weird scene where she's like laughing and crying and moaning she says out loud that this isn't right so she realizes that this relationship is not a good thing to have she's obviously sleeping with her student very bad but then she in that same scene she goes to apologize to Eric and she wants him to stay. And at this point, Eric's like, I want to go. You are acting really crazy. She's pulling on him, kissing him, apologizing to him. And he just runs out of the house, bumps into her roommate. Diana doesn't care. At this point in the film, Diana is just fully obsessed with this kid. She goes full on stalker mode. She calls his house number. She chases him home. She knocks on the window. She sees that her his dad is there, but she doesn't care. They have a conversation outside. The dad kind of sees that there's a commotion going on. She, at this point, Eric is just like breaking off things, but it's already too late because Eric's father has sees that there's a grown adult talking to his son. And she's at this point, she's kind of like half dressed. So there is a major difference in the way that they get caught in the film because at the end of the film, we see Diana go to a hotel. She listens to her voicemails. One of the voicemails is her roommate checking on her. But then the final voicemail is the school is calling her saying that there's a student's father asking to talk to you about a situation that went down. So we obviously, it alludes to, because they don't really show us the aftermath, it alludes that it alludes to Eric Father confronting Diana about them having a relationship, and that's how they get caught in the film. It was all Diana's fault. Reverse of the series, we know that it's kind of Diana, it's kind of Claire's fault because she told her teacher friend that she's having this relationship with her student. The teacher tells, she reports uh, what happened. We see that Claire and Eric go off on the run. Eric realizes that this isn't a relationship that he really wants to be in. We obviously know the aftermath. Claire gets arrested. 10-year gap. They have the scene at the, at the uh, you know, the, the lunch. So it's a very different dynamic of how they actually get caught between the film and how they get caught into the series. Wrapping things up in regards to overall thoughts on the film, I'll say, look, the film to me, it lacked backstory regarding how the relationship got established, who made the first move. We don't get any of that backstory. The characters to me were very unlikable. Diana was very obsessive, very stalkerish, and just really flat out crazy at the end of the day. Eric in the film was very kind of one-dimensional. He didn't really have that much depth to his character. He was just an average student. He wasn't that mature. He was just, I don't really see, I don't really know what Diana saw in him. It just didn't, he just seemed like a kind of a, like I said, a selfish, cocky, arrogant kid. And then just performance-wise, I found I felt that Diana and Eric both just were kind of dull and kind of flat, if I'm being honest. The supporting characters were really non-existent in the film. There was some really choppy editing, some really bad shot selections, in my personal opinion. So just overall, the film lacked depth. It lacked meaning of their relationship. It really didn't explain the dynamic of like, okay, why is Diana so obsessed with this kid? Why can't she date someone her own age? It really don't dive into that dynamic. And also, like I said, when it comes to Eric... He was just in it for the sex. We really don't understand what he got out of it besides having sex with his teacher. So overall, film-wise, I'll give the film a 2.5 out of 5. Uh, I'll say, you know, I do notice the growth in the writer and director, Hannah, who wrote the film, directed the film, and obviously had a big part into the series. She directed six episodes. She wrote half of the episodes. She's grown as a director. You can definitely see that growth between 2013 and seven years later in this show. She's definitely a stronger storyteller. Uh, but the film really didn't work for me, which brings me to my my last point, which one did I prefer? Which one I think was better? Clearly, it's the series. Not only is it because it's a longer format of the story and you get to flesh out things more, but I thought the acting was better. The story was stronger. The characters were, even though, again, this relationship was completely inappropriate and completely wrong, they were more likable characters. I thought Claire was a better character. I thought the, the TV version of Eric was stronger, more mature, just a more likable character. In the film, to me, the characters really didn't work. And it's just, again, I think the story was a lot more stronger in the series. Even if it wasn't 10 episodes, I think that the story was just more, narratively speaking, was just a more stronger, more foundation on how the relationship got started and where it came from. So for me, the series was better than the film. But that's just my thoughts. Let me know in the comments 
comments. Again, if you've seen the film, if you've seen the series, let me know what differences and similarities you all picked out. Let me know in the comments which version of the story did you prefer, which characters, what sets of characters did you like more, the series or the film. Let's discuss it in the comments. As always, make sure to like and share this video. Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit the bell so you don't miss any of my other content. Thank you all for watching this video. Hope you're staying safe, and we'll see you in the next video.